Hello everybody, and here is a little photo montage and video of the assembly of a new food farm that we installed in the back of my building in Los Angeles. We start by assembling the aluminum frame and then sliding all the plastic panels in and uh, reinforcing everything and putting the window. That takes about a whole day for two people. Then we put in all the gutters. That's uh, 64 feet of growing space uh, total, including the sides and this greenhouse only 8 by 8 and uh, here's a closer look at the hydraulic window that opens and closes by itself, no electricity. Yossi brought some plants that are already growing so we don't have to start everything from seed but as you can see there's plenty of space available for planting. I got some work in front of me. The upper gutters take 132 plants and the lower gutters are 24 feet of vertical growing. Here's the finished greenhouse, uh, the video of it and um, there's still so many things that we need to plant there's still lots of work to do, but the food farm is now operating on its own. It wasn't difficult to assemble it, but it was tedious. You can pretty much say a good two and a half days for two people to finish putting it together, the entire food farm. We're still missing about 20 feet of irrigation hose, uh, so we'll have some work to do still. The whole greenhouse took 120 feet. Here's a closer look at the plants that uh, Yossi brought. And they're looking good. Those tomatoes will be fully grown in about two months. They'll be giving production. And you can see we're hydrating some uh, grow bags, some cocoa. Basically just put a drip hose in there and wait a couple days and it's fully... Uh, and then we can plant in it. The center is going to take vertical growing plants. Here's another look at the window and the ceiling. It's just so pretty to look at. And here's a close-up at the cilantro that suffered a little bit, and as well as the uh, parsley down here also suffered a little bit, as you can see. But it's going to recover pretty good. The celery is doing great. It doesn't even look like it suffered any. Uh, only the parsley and, and the zucchini suffered from the transportation from Santa Barbara.